Welcome back YouTube. Uh, in the last video you saw us work on Kalen's 280ZX, 1980 280ZX. Yeah, it's an 80, yep. Um, you might have noticed some cars sitting around the background. I made a mortal YouTube sin and I didn't film going to pick up some new projects. Those projects are a 1966 Chevy Impala, a 1966 Chevy Impala Super Sport, and a 1967 Chevy Impala. In this video, we're gonna be working on assessing the damage and cleaning out the 67. It is also a roller, we know that much. So, follow along. If you wanna see more videos like this, click the button. Hello everybody. Today we start cleaning up on the Roller 67 Chevy Impala. As you can see, we pulled out some pretty cool stuff. These SS hubcaps are going to look awesome on the 66 SS. And now I know what you're saying. You can't use those hubcaps on the 66. I don't really care. It's gonna look cool. But there's some much needed parts inside of those, like inside of this vehicle, like the fender wells and there was some old carpet. We might try to rejuvenate it, but honestly, everything on the inside is kind of trashed. So from the looks of this car, Ken and I have pretty well assumed it used to be someone's project car. There was a new carpet inside, it had shiny, nice shiny hubcaps, um, the fender wells were all ripped out, someone had remanufactured the right driver, the front driver fender, and had attempted to remanufacture the floor pans. We're going to give that another go because they weren't great, but at least an attempt was made. It's just sad to see someone abandon this car. Anyhow, as you can see, the body's not in that bad of shape. Really, uh, it's missing some trim pieces in the front and a headlight or two. The tires all hold air, which is awesome, and I mean, hell, we could probably just stick a new engine transmission in it, <laughs> as uh, easy as saying that sounds. You see here, there's a little bit of rust on the trunk area, it's missing its license plate cover, the door cards are completely gone, there's holes in the floor pan, and uh, this one actually did have a glove box in the original owner's manual, which is really cool. All the gauges in, in the dash are 
at least there. Um, and the interior doesn't look awful, other than, you know, the lack of interior. We're gonna get a wire wheel in here and try probably try to clean up some of this paint and uh, assess the damage a little bit further in a future video. But if you liked what you saw and if you'll wanna stick around and see some more of this kind of stuff, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button. If you have any ideas of what we could, could or should do to this car, go ahead and uh, put it down in the comment. Now taking a look underneath the car and at the frame bits and lack of engine, uh, it's not as rusted out as I thought it was going to be. I, I expected this thing to need patches here, there, and everywhere else, but thanks for watching.